Hi Tollies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right Tollies, if you're already part of the family, welcome back. This video is going to be five self-care practices for busy women like you and I. I know I'm not the only one that has a busy schedule and they feel like, oh my gosh, I'm like drowning and I'm trying to gasp for air. So if you wanna know the five practices, then keep on watching. So number one, number one is really, really, um, it was hard for me at first, obviously, but when I started to practice it a little bit more, I've actually adjusted my body to make sure that that's on the right schedule. So tip number one is wake up and go to bed 30 minutes earlier than usual. So if you wake up at nine o'clock every morning from Monday through Friday, wake up at 8.30. Wake up at 8.30. Telling you guys when you wake up earlier than when you're supposed to or when you expect your body to wake up you get so much done in the morning and in the night when you go to bed early one you feel more refreshed because you went to bed earlier the night before and you feel like you got a lot accomplished in your day when you wake up 30 minutes or an hour earlier it doesn't seem like it's a lot it doesn't seem like it's like a big deal but i promise you like it is it is a big deal so i really strongly suggest that people start with tip number one tip number two i don't know if anybody sometimes is a clean freak like me once in a while is those mini cleanup sessions like making sure that where you lay your head at night and where you work like as far as your office your living room where you really spend most of your time at home i strongly suggest that you make sure that that place is clean because when you have a clean area you kind of feel less stressed and you kind of feel like at ease i don't know what it is with cleaning and clean space and like smelling good and all this stuff in the room that makes you want to be like wow i did something today and you know what I'm gonna have myself a glass of wine, maybe watch a nice movie, maybe I can read my book now, you know, maybe I can call my friends. It's just certain things that now it's just like, okay, I've done that, now I can do many different things after that. So that is tip number two. Tip number three is book time for yourself. And I mean, when I mean book time for yourself, I mean, what makes you feel good? Like, does it does it mean you going to the nail salon by yourself getting your nails and toes done does it mean you going to the hair salon does it mean you going to pilates get a massage going to barnes and noble to get a book like what what makes you be like you know what like this is what i am find truly what makes you happy and book it self-care comes first okay you cannot be there for other people your family and friends your significant other your company you know your business if you're not okay so if it means getting your nails done and your toes done and it's gonna make you feel good or if it means you going to the hair salon every three weeks to get your nice you know blow out do it like do whatever makes you happy because you're doing yourself a disjustice when you are not happy and you are groggy and you have a bad attitude and then that just kind of spreads like a cancer amongst all of your loved ones and then they're wondering what's going on with chizzy like why is she so uptight well i haven't even got my nails in the past month and a half i look crazy i haven't got my nice facial like things like that it, it matters like when you look good you know that saying when you look good you feel good like it's very very underrated because that is truly truly the answer to some of our problems is making sure we take the time for ourselves so book that appointment okay sis book it book it <laughs> number four mindful eating um with me when it comes to me when i'm stressed i am a stress eater sometimes when i'm very very anxious i tend to like emotionally eat if that makes sense but then sometimes i probably just mind be like you know what i'm not even hungry like i have waves that make sense but i am a person that like if i'm stressed out i will eat and that's not good nobody's nobody's saying that's good but i'm just saying is 
that is something that I had to work on over the years and try to realize, okay, what is missing and why is it that anytime some type of inconvenience pops up in my life, I have to resolve to eating crazy. So I definitely say to be mindful of what you put in your body. Like I'm telling you, like eat more fruits, eat more greens, cause it will keep you awake. It makes you feel less droggy and less tired. It makes you feel alert, like little things. And take your vitamins. We're getting older, we are not getting younger, people. Like take your vitamins, take them every day, set a schedule or set an alarm on your, on your phone have those little pill organizers, whatever you need to do to make sure you take your vitamins every day. Take your vitamins every day and eat well. And I'm not saying that I eat well Monday through Friday. I have my days where I go crazy, but you know, I try to bounce back from that and kind of regroup and restart and refresh. And then I go back, you know, you can't make yourself feel too guilty because you ate a burger and french fries the other day. Okay, maybe you were feeling a burger and french fries, but Let's see if, you know, tomorrow for dinner we can have some grilled chicken, broccoli, and some quinoa or brown rice. You know what I'm saying? Like, balance it out, you know? And make sure that if you want to do eat healthy, make sure it's like recipes that you feel comfortable with making and eating and making sure that, yes, it is healthy, but make sure it tastes good, you know? Meet yourself in the middle. And everything comes in moderation. Like, I don't think we as a country or society um, promote eating in moderation like a lot of these athletes that you see today you think they eat healthy monday through sunday no there's no way they don't tell you right now they don't i was a former athlete we eat like crap but we burn a lot of calories and there has to be a balance your body has to get nutrients somewhere and if it means taking a smoothie or trying to just you know Take those like one of those like little ginger shots or whatever you need to do to make sure you're gaining some type of nutrients. I would strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that to do it because you you won't you will thank yourself later. You'll thank yourself later that you that you did that because you feel good. So that is tip number four. Okay, tip number five. And tip number five is another underrated tip. I feel like especially the people that are pleasers and people pleasers we tend to aka me we tend to have a problem with this and i still to this day have a problem with this like i have ways where i'm really good and i'm really bad but tip number five is say no and say no sometimes say no like sometimes people look at you and be like yeah chizzy automatically is gonna say yes Sometimes, you know, people look at you and be like, yeah, Chizzy's gonna say yes, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. And then all of a sudden you say no, and it's like, wow, she really said no. Like, yeah, I really said no, and I mean it, and I'm gonna explain why to you, and I'm gonna say it in a manner where it's just nothing that comes out with emotion. Like, it's just like, hey, nah, can't, I can't do it, you know? I definitely say that the more you start to say no and the more you start to show people like, you know, this uh, this this is something I'm not comfortable with or this is something I just can't do for you, they'll be able to take you more seriously and gain that more of a respect because this is like, okay, I can't rely on Chizzy for everything. I can't rely on her to come through. Because it's life. I cannot be, I can't be everywhere 24-7. It's just not possible. So you're going to stress yourself out being the other person because you're just giving and giving and giving. And sometimes you might not receive and it's just like, okay, this is, this, something has to, something has to give. So saying no is not a bad thing. I just say, I think saying no for people pleasers is just like, oh my gosh, like, I'm always the one with the answers, you know, but sometimes you just don't have the answers and you don't have the, the proper protocol to help someone out. You may refer the person to somewhere else or to somebody else, but sometimes you are not the person and sometimes no is the answer. So that is tip number five. And I'm going to add another tip. I know this is just like a five self-care tip video, but I'm going to add number six and number six I have to say is that this is what keeps me going especially in my grieving process is what are you grateful for ask yourself this every day and I promise you whatever bad day bad morning you are having it will all change when you know you're grateful for something and you know that like you're blessed in so many ways in this life it makes you what you're going through 
a little bit more at ease and just be like, you know, what, I'm just going to leave it all to God or, and leave it all to, you know, to the universe to be like, you know, what, you handle it. <laughs> I did what I'm supposed to do. I played my part. I did my best. You do it like I'm leaving it all to you. And you just begin to realize that maybe your problems that you're you're thinking about or moping about might not be a big deal. It might not, it might just be a slight inconvenience, but it's not it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. And I think we have to program ourselves to understand that we are very, 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 very blessed. Very blessed, very, very favored. And I think people, if we continue to remind ourselves a little bit more, I think we'll get closer to a sense of peace in our everyday lives. So that is tip number six. All right, Tollies, these are the five self-care tips for a busy woman. I hope this is something that's just really straight to the point, really easy for you guys. It's something that you guys can apply to your everyday lives. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 700 subs, guys. This has been a journey and a very rewarding journey. I thank you guys so much for supporting me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.